So we start off on the beautiful Portuguese island of Madeira for the Madeira Rally and this is a round of the European Rally Championship. And so to the start of the event, an event which has been running for a good few years now and first off the ramp, the only A seed in the whole event and that's in the Renault Clio, Jose Carlos Macedo. But he's likely to be under a fair bit of attack from this man in particular, Piero Liatti, in the Subaru. Well, there's two very quick Subarus up front in this particular event with Gustavo Trellis as well. Likely to put in a good effort, the Uruguayan, one of the quickest in the competition as well. But Piero Liatti setting the pace very early on with co-driver Alessandro Alessandrini and Liatti taking many of the fastest times on that first day. The number three Toyota of Sergio Pianizzola also pretty well up in the early stages and several of the Toyota Celica four-wheel drives entered including one, including one for Italian Fabrizio Tabaton. Lancia in Delta Integrales as well, also competing on this event and uh, not of course quite so competitive these days a little outpaced by the Subarus etc. Fernando Perez in the Ford Escort Cosworth really taking the challenge to Piero Liatti and meanwhile Gustavo Trelles there in the second of the ART run Subaru Imprezas. Back to those Lancia Deltas, and that's the number seven car of Yves Loubet. But meanwhile, Cesare Baroni had already been in trouble with his one and had turbo problems that put him fairly well down. Fabrizio Tabaton, however, going pretty well in his Celica and only a little bit behind Liatti. In fact, very involved in the battle with Fernando Perez. Battle for Formula 2 honours also going on in this event, but that really being dominated by the Renault Clio that we saw earlier. And the VW Golf not really featuring in this one. And so through towards the end of the first day and still Piero Liatti enjoying quite a comfortable lead over the opposition. into the service halt and not too many problems for Liatti at this point. Well it's going well, we've won all the special stages so far. The stages are pretty fast but we're pretty happy with the way it's going for us so far. Well, former European champion Liatti so uh, certainly the experience to deal with this sort of terrain and demanding rally some very twisty tight roads as well but uh, that certainly seems to be suiting him well Jose Carlos Macedos in the Renault Clio run by Renault Portugal and Fernando Perez while well, managing to equal Liatti's time on the fourth stage and that moved him up into second place Fabrizio Tabaton there in third position in his Toyota Celica run by the Graffoni team and then next up the other of the Subarus with Gustavo Trellis but nobody could catch Piero Liatti and Alessandro Alessandrini at this point And so to the special stage that's actually held in the town itself. A slightly 
different type of stage, really a spectator stage, held at the end of the first day to provide some entertainment in Funchal, in the harbour front and along the, uh, in the centre of town. It caused quite a lot of mayhem at various points with some of the drivers taking different routes to others. But it served to entertain the crowd and give the drivers a bit of a fun run at the end of the day. Well, on to the second day then. And could anybody catch that flying Subaru up front? Jose Carlos Macedos in the Renault Clio. Well, of course, running with a lot less power than the Subaru up front. The Renault Clio running to Formula 2 regulations means it has around about 200 and 30 brake horsepower, but that's up against the over 300 brake horsepower of the turbo dry, turbocharged four-wheel drive Subaru. Fernando Perez going well in second place, but he would have some problems later on in the day with a hub nut disintegrating on him and that dropping him down the order. Tabaton also getting into troubles later on. And that all gave Gustavo Trelles in the number six Subaru the chance to move up the order. Sergio Pianazzola also moving up in the old-style Celica. With then the Lanciers a little further back. This the Lancia, a Frenchman, Yves Lube. But he certainly had a few problems earlier on in the day. Ah ben la course, si tu veux pour nous, c'était une opportunité de venir ici. Bon, on s'est fait plaisir. C'est une bonne opportunité pour nous de venir et compter ici. Le plus vite possible dans les descentes. Bon, moi je savais au départ. Euh, que l'auto était un petit peu techniquement par rapport aux autres devant. Euh, of course, the problem is with our Lance here is not really quite as uh, up to date as some of the opposition we're up against. L'opportunité de participer à Madère. But it's a great opportunity to compete here in Madeira. So Yves Lube enjoying his run, but uh, certainly struggling to keep up with the likes of Piero Liatti in his Subaru. On board with Liatti, and let's see how he was managing to do it. Still keeping up the pace up front and still basically going on to win virtually every special stage. Keeping up the uh, performance of Subaru and recently in World Championship rallying has been so strong as well with Colin McRae having won in New Zealand and things going well for them in the Asia Pacific Series. Liatti looking smooth, controlled and really under no pressure from the opposition. Well, the number 12 escort, the top Portuguese driver, Rui Conchao. And the Gulf of Américo Campos, another of the Portuguese crews entered in the event. Jorge Bica in his Lancia Delta Integrale. And sliding the Toyota around nicely, Sergio Pianazzola, still working his way up to the top 10. Slightly newer car of Fabrizio Tabaton. And Tabaton working his way up in the order as well. Except for that uh, broken hub nut, he could well have had a good second place here in Madeira. Well, Macedo and able to match the four-wheel drive supercharged turbocharged cars up front but nonetheless 
very much the man to beat in Formula 2. No real opposition for him. And the Renault Clio Maxi, so well suited to these tight and twisty roads as well. And Macedo certainly going very quickly. Gustavo Trales, the Euro Uruguayan, well, gradually working his way up the order with no major problems for his car. And coming up into second place. About the win going to Piero Liatti in the other of the Subarus. A dominant victory and his first win in Madeira as well. So Liatti the winner, Trelles in second, Jose Carlos Macedo in that uh, Renault Clio taking third, Neda Fabrizio Tabaton in fourth and Sergio Pianazzola. So a great win for Piero Liatti and this uh, the Porto Santo Island where all the drivers were invited after the event had finished to come and make a special slalom competition, another bit of entertainment for the crowd. Well, the hard work for the weekend all done with, but this an extra little show.